Good day. I am Jonathan B. Calibara from the College of Engineering and Architecture, Civil Engineering Department, USA PCDO Campus. Today, I am going to present to you my research entitled The Effects of Water Reducing Admixture on the Compressive Strength of Concrete Using Crushed Nonima Stone as Fine Aggregate with my co-author, Dr. Ruel R. Cabajo. There are about 25 to 31 billion metric tons of concrete have been produced throughout the world. That is according to the World Business Council Sustainable Development 2019. So what is concrete? Concrete is a composite material of cement, aggregate, and water. Aggregate is a combination of coarse and fine aggregate. So fine aggregate is usually sand material. The main source of sand material is from the river. Its availability has become an environmental concern According to Serifo et al. 2013, many researchers conducted a study about the non-conventional aggregate. Now, in my study, I am going to use Mangima stone. So what is Mangima stone? Mangima stone has a geologic name of phyllite schists and is generally found in the province of Bukindun. The Mangima stone along the National Highway of Mangima, Bukindun. This stone is extracted and used as decorative tile for houses, buildings, and resorts. In my study, these waste cuts will be crushed into fine and will be used as fine aggregate in a concrete mixture. From the study of Kabahog et al., it recommends to further investigate the possibility of using Mangima stone aggregate with the additive of water-reducing admixtures. What is admixture? Admixtures are those ingredients in concrete other than Portland cement, water, and aggregates that are added to the mixture immediately before or during mixing. Admixture can be chemical and mineral. So in my study, I am using chemical admixtures. According to the study of Pereira et al. 2012, concrete with the incorporation of recycled aggregates was found to have poor relative performance and use admixture in order to attain the desired strength of concrete. Some of the admixture effects on concrete are the following. It provides an early strength, increasing the workability with the same water cement contents. Now, I am incorporating crushed Mangima stone as fine aggregate with the addition of water-reducing admixture in order to pr produce a structural concrete mix. So the objectives of the study. First objective is to design a concrete mixture using crushed minima stone as fine aggregate with admixtures. Second, determine the design mix that can provide the optimum compressive strength using crushed minima stone as fine aggregate with admixture. Third one is identify which percentage of admixture will give the highest compressive strength in using crushed minima stone as fine aggregate. Find the potentiality of crushed minima stone as fine aggregate with addition of admixture, if it is suitable for a structural concrete production. For the methodology, first is you have to gather the materials. The cement that is used for this study is type 1 cement. Water should be potable and clean. The aggregates, coarse and fine, is coming from Taguluan. The admixture that is used is coming from the Sika company from Kaoswagan branch. And the Mangima stone, is coming from the specified source at Bukidnon. Then, the Mangima stone will be crushed into fine using hammer. This Mangima stone will be, will be tested its physical tests and also the coarse and the fine aggregates. So for, for the proportioning of the mixture, see to it that uh, the researcher is doing the trial mix and set that trial mix as the basis for a structural concrete design. That mix will be used as samples to represent the mix. The next one is to test the sample on its compressive strength. Then the results, conclusion, and recommendations. So for the design mix, it is the result of a trial mix design. So the researcher is using one design mix for all the type of mixes. The same water cement ratio, sand, and coarse aggregate, but different percentage of admixture is added 
in order to see its effect to the compressive strength of concrete. The second design is for crushed minima stone as fine aggregate. So we'll be expecting two results for this study. We observe on the results, as the number of days increases, there is an increase also of its compressive strength. When you compare it with the additional admixture, it shows an acceptable result and it surpasses the minimum requirement of 3000 PSI. So for the crushed minima stone, the result is expected to have a lesser value. It is because of the properties of the material. So we will see if the added admixture will have an effect to its compressive strength. So for a zero admixture, compared to the added admixture, you can say that it has a higher value compared to the 0% admixture. Therefore, the additional admixture will help the concrete mix improve their strength. Conclusions. Using the 0.57 water cement ratio of crushed magnesium stone as fine aggregate in concrete mix appears to be acceptable for this type of material. The water reducing admixture was generally superior to that of reference concrete with no admixture in both mixes. With the presence of admixtures, the concrete produces its early strength and passes the minimum requirement of 3000 PSI. The MDMB or the Mangima Design Mix B with 1.0% water reducing admixture gives the highest compressive strength when water reducing admixture is added to the concrete mixture using crushed magnesium stone as fine aggregate. Last one is the crushed magnesium stone is a potential material as fine aggregate in producing structural concrete with addition of water reducing admixture. So for the recommendations, having found that the potential of using magnesium stone for concrete aggregate, a mechanical crusher could help the magnesium stone crush into a desired aggregate size. And to conduct another study to use the crushed minima stone in both cores and fine aggregates and add admixture a different percentage to determine the optimum design mix for structural concrete production. That would be all. Thank you.